First of all, I want to say thanks once again to the organizers because diversity makes a good working environment. So I'm really glad that we have all this diversity of everything. So thank you very much. Well, I'm going to try to tell you a little bit what my PhD thesis was about. I made it in IMPA with the advisor of Marcelo and Karina Marin. Now I'm doing my post PhD in the Universidad Federal de Minas Gerais. Okay, let's start a little bit. I'm not intended to, be, to give proofs of everything or give any proof at all <laughs> because there are 20 minutes. I'm happy with you taking uh, the idea of the problem, how we work with that, and what's, what's the idea to deal with. So let's start with uh, a, a setting. Uh, in general, we are going to work with a metric compact space, being f a, a continuous function. This is an initial setting. We are going to ask a little bit more of, uh, in the forward, in the following. And mu and f, f invariant measure. A as being a, a continuous mapping into the, the matrix space, we, wait, okay. We are going to define a, a linear cost cycle as the map that uh, acts in the product of my compact metric space and R2 being in the first coordinate F and in the second coordinate the, the A map applying to, applied to X in the V vector. vector. This is a, a concept that we are all a little used to, so there's nothing new under the sun here. There's also nothing new under the sun in the following uh, uh, slide. Uh, if we know that with this notation, we have like a, for, because an example of this is the differential cost cycle. And this notation gives an idea of a chain rule, but it's also the iterate of or f of a, f sub a. So with this notation, uh, many speakers before me have defined it, the initial approach to the Lyapunov exponents by Fustenberg and Kesten, that they define the, the Lyapunov exponent as being the uh, exponential growth of the positive orbit of or A, and the, the negative Lyapunov exponent, the inverse. This, uh, these values are uh, invariant by, by X, as the measure is ergodic in an initial setting, uh, is uh, constant every, every point. So I'm not putting the X in the notation. So, in this context, we are going to work with the continuity of Lyapunov exponents when the cost cycles, when they are varied with a fixed base and a fixed measure in the base. Okay? So, in this context, the first, uh, the most contundent result that we have is the one that uh, Hannah, who is arriving now, <laughs> had mentioned before, uh, that is the Manievoki result uh, that says that uh, if f is an homeomorphism and mu is an aperiodic measure, then a is a continuity point in the C0 topology if and only if uh, a is an uniformly hyperbolic or uh, the Lyapunov exponents are zero. zero. And this is a continuity point, as uh, Adriana also explained in her talk, that this is upper semi-continuous and this is lower semi-continuous. And in the case of two dimension, they must coincide, so we have continuity for zero Lyapunov exponents. Okay, recently, uh, Marcelo and Yagan Yang in 2006, they proved that when the base is not invertible, uh, the, the result of Manievoki is not true. There exists, they give an example of a C0 continuity point with 
positive uh, Lyapunov exponents are non uniformly and it's not uniformly hyperbolic. So, what is this example? Okay, if we take, we are going to take in the base an expensive map of the circle f of x as being k ki x. I, I sometimes say she's because it's in Portuguese. It's a Portunglish talk. So, okay, I have my, my expanding map in the circle and I'm going to define my cos cycle as being from the circle to SL2 as being an hyperbolic matrix and this is an error. This is an hyperbolic and this is an, a rotation. This is non-uniformly hyperbolic and they prove in this article that the Lyapunov exponents of this was different from zero. The, the initial, I, th I believe that the initial motivation for, uh, for this result was an a, a example of Young that's really old. So, in this example, what is the question? The question is, why doesn't bocchi manier function in this kind of, of settings when the base is not an anomorphism? For that, we have to bring up to knowledge uh, an old friend of us, that is the holonomy uh, mapping. That I don't want, I don't like slight with so many words. Those are too much words. So this here, we are just saying that we are going to take in the base a, a shift, okay? And we are going to ask some properties in the measure as having local product st structure and being fully supported. And this definition, it's really what, what, I'm, what it's saying to us, I'm going to say the same of Marcelo. Look at me. <laughs> so, this, these maps are mappings that allow us to move in the tangent space or, of our variety. Here we have our M. Here, I, I put the notation in R2, but it's the same if I draw a, a projective in the tangent. And this mapping will do is the following. If I have my stable local variety of she's, if I take an epsilon, epsilon no, why? Why map why element in the stable local manifold? The, the holonomy map allows me to move from a vector v, v in our, in the fiber of x, to the victim, to its image in the fiber of epsilon here. Really, what allows us to, to define it is the following. Since I'm taking in the local stable manifold, when I iterate forward, these elements are going, are going to be uh, near. And these elements, by the cycle are also going to be near. So this allows us to define the following limit. And we are going to define or she's or it's 
or allonomy from x to y, the maps that when I go forward by x, then I jump to the projective and y, I get back. Okay? Okay. And basically, when this map exists, it's going to have this, this form. What is, having, what is happening in our, in our setting in here? I'm going to, to, I'm writing backwards. It's like the version of follow your own adventure. So, what if I now, I define the natural uh, expansion of F as being M as the space of the pre-orbits Um, and we are going to define A hat of she's hat as being A of, she, of she's. Being she's the coordinate, if I have my, my sequence, is going to be the, the zeroed. And for those who, who don't still know, I didn't wrote it, but this is going to be a shift. Okay? So this map is going only to depend of my series. Now it's here. And when I take the stable variety, of this map is going to be a, an environment of my point that is going to depend only of the zero. In fact, it has, it has to have the same value here because it's an expanding map, so there's no way. So if I take two elements in the, in the stable local manifold, uh, they are going to have the same value here. So the, this map is going to be constant along the stable local manifold. And thus, see, we came to this limit. This is going to be the identity. In every point, in every schist. So in this example, we have an holonomy, an stable holonomy uh, in every point that is the identity. I lost my thing back here. So, in this context, we have a, a well-known result uh, that was recently published by Bakes, Brown, and Butler that says, if we, if we have both uniform holonomies, by uniform, I'm saying that this is continuous in every point and it is defined in every point, okay? So if we have both holonomies and both are converging to a co-cycle with, uh, with also holonomies, and the, everything is converging nicely, then the, the Lyapunov exponents are continuous. So well, uh, in the head of Marcelo came the following question. Uh, if I have only one holonomy, it could be possible to get continuity. And in this direction, I'm going to erase this. In this direction, we have to, to make a little gap. While I'm erasing, I want to say that the food is really good. Thank you for that also, I'm enjoying. <laughs> so, fiber watching, for, who doesn't know, is limiting in every point. It's a much stronger limitation constant. So, this gap, no, because I, I will have to do two, two parts. 
The first part is well, we work with this, the sigma over two, and the other I have bad news, this is still not knowing, but this we have a, a many contundent results that I'm going to share with you. So this, this limitation to the Lyapunov exponents, what allows us now is to modify this uh, uniform stable definition of holonomy, okay? Now, I'm going to modify the last one, last condition. I'm going to make it measurable. An observation is these are going to continue to be linear maps because they come from here, okay? And they are going to be defined in a full measure set of my, my M. And I'm going to call it non-uniform. I, mean, I believe that is uh, obvious, the name. So, with this definition, uh, in Marcelo's article of 2008, he, he makes all the, the work to, to, to uh, make these holonomies, and we also get some uniform uh, uh, Lipschitz condition in every, in every increasing sequence of compact, those D are compact uh, sets. So we are, the, te the, the principal technique in every case is we have one uniform holonomy. The, the technique that is used for, for uh, Vienna Young is to try to generate the other holonomy, but some by some of those techniques. When we have the this condition, we are, uh, it's over. Okay. Uh, we have the possibility to do it with, <laughs> with Marcelo's work. Well, I'm going to go very fast, so. Uh, no, sorry, not five minutes. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to be fast only. I was going to be very fast. I'm going to be fast only. <laughs> So, uh, we have only one holonomy, our technique is trying to do the, to make the other holonomy with those techniques. One is Marcelo, the other is using Pessin theory, that is this sign is future work. I'm thinking, not going to, to cons get to get it to you. Okay. Our first result is for non-uniformly fiber bunching. If we ask some com, a, a higher regularity in the convergence of the co-cycle, then we have uh, the convergence of the, the continuity of the co-cycle. This means that if we ask this condition is for uh, having the convergence of the holonomies. With this condition and the non-uniformly fiber bunching, we are winning not only the holonomies, you know, the conversions. It's, it's really contundent uh, in, in this case, which is a thing that we don't have in the, the case of Pessin holonomies. So a, a good question would be, okay, but if I could generate one of them, why not generate both and throw this condition away? That is an answer. I have an answer to that. It's not possible. We have a counterexample. There is the Bocher Vienna example. That says the following. Opa. If we have a two symbol shift. And uh, with a usual distance, uh, 
and we have our A as being the following, sigma, gamma, 0, 0, gamma, minus 1, si, she, 0, x, 0 is 0, and gamma, minus 1, gamma, if x, 0, is 1. If we have a, we put a probability P0 of the events she's equals to zero happens, and P1, the other case, we refrain for the set 0, 1, the following probability. Um, There. And we take moon the product measure. In this context, the Lyapunov exponent is going to be P1 less P0 this is times log the gamma. And we can approximate, suppo supposing that P0 is different than P1, we can approximate this enough to make this less than log the 2 over 2, and make it no uniformly fiber bunching to this example. But over some, some conditions of the gamma, this is a, there exists an element B such that the Lyapunov exponent of B is zero, and B is near I holder or Lipschitz. So what is going on in this case? We can take a subshift in the base, we can take an, a cos cycle in, in that satisfies that the, is fiber bunching, but it's, we have a B that is near, that is zero. So it's a discontinuity point for the holder uh, uh, metric, or Lipschitz, it's the same. So what is going on in this case? Uh, when we approximate by the holonomies in, in B, this exchange the, the oscillated subspaces. So that's why we don't get continuity in this case. We don't have the, the convergence of the two. We need the convergence uniform of at least one holonomy. Well, here you say that also works with Holder, but the bunching condition is modified. And the following question, Boker Viana also proved that in this article that uh, every, in the space of uh, locally constant co-cycles, every point is a continuity point. Here we see that if we make the space bigger, like all holder, all holder, uh, <laughs> all holder co-cycles, we know that is not true. So what do we need for make this, uh, for make any, any co-cycle a continuity, linear co-cycle locally constant a continuity point? That is the following. A locally constant cost cycle I is irreductible if there are no proper subspace uh, of every two invariant both by A in every point. Ending. So if we have irreductibility, if we have continuity with no need of holonomy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry.